Welcome back, here's Bastion Assassin. We are live streaming sequence 12 of Assassin's Creed 3. Who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon fall. Either into us... He sent me away, that day, at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the seven heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. So in this mission, the uh, false sync requirement basically is to uh, limit your number of kills on the Red Colt soldiers. Now in order to help out with that, there are exactly 15 guys here at this first part, and then you, there's even more that you have to do later. Your limit is 15. In order to facilitate that, I like to use my assassins here because I'm required and everybody here. It's a, it's a weirdly linear little mission. Um, so anyway, as I was saying in the beginning, we're live streaming Assassin's Creed 3. This is sequence 12, the final sequence of the main storyline. <clears throat> Once we finish this, um, I will sit and watch the end credits. And when that is completed, uh, I will be starting a second live stream for the night, in which I will live stream the tyranny of King Washington. Um, Clear shot. here we go, that guy's almost dead, and finish him on the ground, come on guys, there we go, okay. Where is Charles Lee gone? The harbor, to catch a ferry.
not sure. It's one of those instances where they can see right through the wall. to build an army, not fill an arms house. It would take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. As you should be, for us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. Ah! That was so stupid of me. I wanted to make sure you guys saw when the when the uh, tripwire bomb went off. And so I failed my eavesdrop. It's like gonna go back to the beginning of the ship. Ugh. Oh, no, it's just right here. Okay. It looks like one of the guys I took out is still around. Great. Hold on. Little 
peekaboo. Get back here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just Get a over. step closer, man. Great, one of those instances. I was detected for no apparent reason. That's why these auto fail missions are so frustrating. I forget how bad the AI is in the sun sometimes. Or ridiculously omniscient the AI can be. Still love this game. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your need. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. At least this time I waited the moment longer than I needed to.
pretty good for a big fella. We're almost impressed. Not quite. Complete this list and you'll be a little closer. Will I get something for my troubles, aside from impressing a 12-year-old girl? like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards! Make a sound and you die. What do you want? He's in the harbor, at the Long Pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought he was overreacting. It's not. No! Thank you. <sighs> While we're here, I can see that we have a treasure chest upstairs. Might as well. Oh, holy cow, Connor got intense. <laughs> as soon as uh, he finds out who's really responsible for his mother's death, he gets super intense. Oh, I shoved somebody. 
No, I didn't. I lost range. That's alright. Unless we fail the mission. Oh, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Okay, well, that just gives me a chance to retry. Dang it! Oh, those guys usually don't stop me that early up. Usually I can get here. I'm out of practice, it looks like. I apologize. us down, we rise again. You end one plot, we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad, and this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will. Such a good mission. So much intense dialogue. Everybody's messed up. Time to go end Lee. Now, the real question. Where is Charles Lee? There was a suggestion once in the forums that uh, a children's style book be made uh, in, in, in after the fashion of Where's Waldo, but in which you uh, take on the ego of Connor attempting to find Charles Lee. And it's just finding Charles Lee in big crowded pages. It's kind of a silly suggestion. But appropriate, I suppose, to how many times Connor asks, Where is Charles Lee? or Give me Lee. <laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland, took a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word.
I love this scene. Two sworn enemies. Both horribly wounded. Neither really with anything to gain. And Connor, full of conviction, comes here to finish the work that he came to do. Lee, knowing this, acknowledges it and allows it. And even respects it. Again, like I said in the beginning, it's all about Juno. Everything here is about Juno. Why Connor's whole life behind? was wasted because of Juno. Juno who needed to be free. Juno who needed to be let out. Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. You have succeeded. No! I have failed! My people are gone! Chased out by those who I thought would protect them! It is a trade. A sacrifice. And not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now, you must hide it. Where none shall think to look. And then in time... In time, what once was, shall be, again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then, you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose, and that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference. And you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it.
I know where the key is. Then let's go. All right, time to see what's inside. Not quite. We still need to get the place powered up. Find the remaining pedestals and plug in the power sources. I'm on it. All right, before we finish up, I think I'm gonna s just go around, have some closing conversations. Um, I'm not gonna bother reading the emails. But then we're gonna have to go and put the last two keys in. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set up Sturgo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. That it threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. Hey, so, um, when this is over, and assuming it all works out, I was hoping I could, you know, come home. I'd like nothing more. We're almost there, son. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make... Well, mana. Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? I think it might have been past the like? Sexbury date. Cardboard. Taste of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You've certainly got away with words, Rebecca. Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction. I hear rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. We all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look, I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. The flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. 
Well, I don't blame them. Sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Best we finish up with Connor. Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No. He indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. So what was it like being back at Abstergo? I didn't expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's... Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'll listen to you. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. us for we were flesh and flesh is frail though suits and shields might offer comfort such adornments would not suffice not to save us all so we sought to change what we were in this manner we might thrive in a world made poisonous it was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done Aita my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for us. us. Uh, again, I'll say it. This is what I love about AC3. There's so much insight into the stories. I mean, I, th I think it answers more questions than it, than it leaves unanswered. I mean, there's still mysteries at the end. But there's so much revealed in this story. And it plays into the future events but so little is revealed in subsequent games. Black Flag is probably the best one when it comes to how much is revealed, and that's unfortunate.
consciousness of a series of electrical impulses and the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles as dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? I think I made a wrong turn. Time to go and end this thing. Desmond, it's been real. It's been wonderful being along for the ride. Uh, viewers, it's been wonderful being along the ride with you. Um, this is not the end of the stream, of course. This is the end of the Desmond saga, which is probably the most important series of the games. So, wait, don't I just go up here? I'm so embarrassed. I have the key, don't I? What do I do when I'm done? We'll have plenty of time to talk when this is all over. We Let's should focus, focus on, on our work. work. No. no need to go into the Animus. Got the keys in, right? I got all... Yeah. There's three keys. Oh, if we come back this here. Okay. Right, I've made the same mistake before. Sorry about that. I was getting all, all misty-eyed and then... Embarrassed myself. Moment of truth.
Come. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machine to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the sky. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. 
Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the ring of fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest on record. Satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier level. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. It's so ominous. I hope someday something happens with the Juno storyline. I don't want them to abandon it. I don't want them to just give up on it. I want it to happen. Thank you, those who joined us during this live stream. Thank you, those who watch on YouTube. I appreciate it. I will be back later tonight to, the, to do the Tyranny of King Washington DLCs. Um, so I'll be back after, basically after these credits end, which will be a little while. So, thank you, and good night.